An abandoned old field, which is a rare and ecologically significant area, exists on the campus at the University of Toronto, Mississauga. In 2006, Urban Forest Associates, an environmental consulting company, was hired to develop a management plan for this degraded habitat at UTM. In its current state, this old field is being occupied by a number of invasive species. A management plan for this habitat has been developed to protect and promote the natural state of this area. What are we trying to accomplish? Goals of this restoration project include control of invasive woody species, control of invasive herbaceous species, native planting and seeding, site preparation for plantings and seeding of herbaceous area, provide quality habitat for local wildlife, including birds, small animals and insects, and provide an educational opportunity for UTM faculty, students and staff surrounding community and local groups. What has been done so far? In the early spring of 2008, UTM students were encouraged to cut down the invasive woody species at this site. UTM hired a burn consultant to coordinate the prescribed burn of the old field habitat. During this past summer, several events were held to educate and create awareness to the UTM and local community about the site and to implement parts of this work plan. So what we will be currently doing today is a component of the work plan to restore this important habitat on campus by removing and cutting down the Tartarian honeysuckles. Safety is very important as you work in the field, so make sure that you are dressed appropriately. This means closed-toed work shoes, long pants, and gloves will be provided. So it should go without saying that bare feet sandals or other skimpy footwear are not acceptable nor are bare legs. So this is the equipment that we're going to be using in this week's field exercise. Uh, first we're looking at a pair of hand shears. They're being held uh, at the handles right now and uh, the blades are closed. When you walk carry the uh, hand shears at your side and uh, keep the blade pointed down towards the ground. This is a pair of loppers uh, right now, okay, they're being opened and closed, and uh, when you carry them, just make sure that uh, you keep your, uh, both the handles together and the blade nicely covered with your hand on your side. Next is a handsaw. Uh, carry it uh, by the middle of the back uh, of the support, and um, keep the, uh, the sharp edge down when you walk with it at your side. Next is a pair of uh, hand pruners. Carry them with the blade wrapped inside your hand and uh, the, uh, the lock in place. So what we'll be doing today is the Tartarian honeysuckle. This is a non-native invasive species that is taking over the site, outcompeting the native species that are trying to establish themselves here. The shrub is generally like a very shaggy looking shrub and about seven to eight feet tall. Our honeysuckle have leaves on them still this time of year. Uh, we might find leaves that are still green or leaves that are yellow. You'll notice that they are oval shaped leaves. On the twigs you'll notice that the buds are growing opposite to each other and at the terminus point at the very end Sometimes you'll find a little knob at the very end of it. Once you're finished your cut, you'll notice that there is a, a double color pith. There's an orange in the center and it's hollow, and then a lighter, bar, lighter pith on the outside. And you'll notice also that the bark is pretty shaggy. The hand pruners that we'll be using today will be used to make the primary cuts to, to create clearance from the main stems. As you cut the branch, take the branch away from the stem and then leave it down by the side of your feet. After the hand pruners have cleared away all the excess branches from the main stems, you'll be using the hand loppers to cut away the branches 
Again, trying to use it at the base of the stem and cutting them and clearing them away, away from the shrub. Similar to the loppers that we were using, the hand shears will be used to cut the larger stems at the base. And again, removing them away from the shrub once they've been cut. So using the hand saws, you're going to be using the full length of the blade as you cut along the base of the branch. So, and making sure that the cuts are perpendicular to the branch. You will notice while on the site that there are some areas demarcated by four posts and flagging tape or string. These areas are, are research plots that are looking at the, the effect of soil temperatures on the plant community. Please avoid these areas, don't step in them, and please don't cut anything within them. When you have done your cutting, remember to leave your clippings at the base of the tree. And at the end of the tutorial, please ensure that you return all the equipment in the proper place. And also, remember to sign out with your TA at the end of the day. And remember, be safe and have fun.